Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we'll be looking at a typical exam question related to electrostatics that you will get uh, in the exam. If you look at this example we have here, we have um, the diagram below shows a small metal sphere P on an insulated, an insulated stain. The sphere carries a charge of minus 4 times 10 to the minus 9 coulombs as shown in the diagram. Now the first question says draw the electric field pattern around sphere P. Assume that no other charges affect this pattern. So what we do is as I mentioned earlier that we draw a fairly large circle and if it is uh, a negative charge we know that the field lines uh, come inwards radially. So a diagram something to this effect with the arrows and the shape will be what is required to answer this question. So this will be the answer to 8.1. If you're looking at uh, looking further 8.2 calculate the number of electrons in excess in sphere P we must take uh, the charge the number of electrons that are in excess it will be number of electrons will be equal to your charge divided by the charge of one electron. So it will be uh, minus 4 times 10 to the power minus 9 divided by the charge of one electron and the charge of an electron will be given on the data sheet as a constant which will be uh, minus 1,6 times 10 to the power minus 19 and if you take a calculator and we work it out we we'll get an answer of 2,5 times 10 to the power 10 electrons. So that will be the answer for, for this two, two sums. If you go on, the sum goes on and says a second metal sphere T carrying a charge of 2 times 10 to the minus 9 coulomb is placed 1 centimeter from sphere P as shown in the diagram. Calculate the magnitude of the electrostatic force that sphere P exerts on sphere T. Now, as I said, when we see the word electrostatic, it can become confusing, so, but here we see that the word is force. So we know that we have to use Coulomb's equation, which is F is equals to K Q1 Q2 over R squared. And K is 9 times 10 to the power 9. Q1 will be 4 times 10 to the power minus 9 and Q2 will be 2 times 10 to the power minus 9 divided by 1 centimeter so we must change 1 centimeter divided by 100 times 10 to the minus 2 and we mustn't forget to square the answer and if you work it out using a calculator we can say 9 exponent 9 multiplied by 4 exponent minus 9 times 2 exponent minus 9 divided by 1 exponent minus 2 don't forget to square and we get an answer of um put an answer of 1 2 3 4 1 times 10 to the 1 times 10 to the power minus 4 newtons and let me just double check that for you quickly just a correction there this one was the answer for the bottom the answer is 7,2 speed this up the answer is 7,2 times 10 to the minus 4 7,2 times 10 to the minus 4 so it is very important to be uh, uh, careful to double check so that we don't uh, have unnecessary errors and force is measured in newtons and we see that this is a negative and this is a positive force and it will be uh, attraction between the two spheres the spheres are not bro are now brought into contact with each other and return to their original position calculate the electrical potential energy of the two spheres. Now here we see that there are two 
important words. The one is contact and one is energy. So when it works, when, when we see the word contact, we know we must look at the equation Q1 plus Q2 divided by 2 and our two spheres will be minus 4 and plus 2. So let's just write it down. Minus 4 times 10 to the power minus 9 plus 2 times 10 to the power sorry about that plus 2 times 10 to the power minus 9 and that must be divided by 2 and if we calculate this we get an answer of so we can say minus 4 times 10 to the power minus 9 plus 2 times 10 to the power minus 9 equals it will be divided by 2 and we get the answer of 1 times 10 to the power minus 9 as a final answer 1 times 10 to the power minus 9 so that will be um, the charge on each sphere after they come into contact with each other now going on we see that it is six marks so that tells us that there are two parts to the sum we worked out the contact part so if you look at the energy part we know the equation is u is equals to k q1 q2 over r and here we can say 9 times 10 to the power 9 is k q1 will be 1 times 10 to the power minus 9 and q2 will also be 1 times 10 to the power minus 9 and the distance between them you say that are returned to the original positions so it will be one centimeter which is equal to 0 0.01 meters and if you work that out we can say 9 times 10 to 9 exponent 9 times 1 exponent minus 9 times 1 exponent minus 9 divided by 0 0.01 and here we don't have to square and we get an answer of 9 times 10 to the power minus 7 and u is energy and it's measured in joules so that will be the way we will go about answering a typical exam question related to spheres as we as you see that there are important words to highlight force original position contact energy so if we know these and we also know our theory relating to the definition which they didn't ask you and how to draw the pattern without wasting silly marks by making the lines touch, we can get good marks for this question. Thank you very much for watching.